allegations are unfounded. Thank you. He is not homeless, and it was not dumping. This is another edition of My Burbank News. The Burbank Police Department has completed a thorough investigation into the events surrounding the transportation of an individual from the city of Burbank to North Hollywood on June 6, 2024. The incident, which gained public attention through a widely circulated video seen here, depicted Burbank police officers releasing a man from their patrol vehicle on a sidewalk in the 5,200 block of Lancashire Boulevard near the office of Los Angeles City Council President Paul Krikorian. Following the video's release, the Burbank Police Department announced that an investigation would be initiated. The investigation included a comprehensive review of body-worn camera footage, in-car camera recordings, and surveillance video. Investigators also conducted interviews with witnesses, reviewed service calls and response logs. According to Burbank Police, after concluding their investigation, the actions of the officers did not violate department policy and there was no evidence of misconduct. Burbank Police Chief Mike Albanese addressed the Burbank City Council at its regular meeting on August 27, 2024, to announce the investigation's findings. Mayor, Vice Mayor, City Council members, I'm here to report out on the incident that occurred June 6th in our city. And as you recall, there was allegations of homeless dumping. So our investigation has been completed. I'm going to just do a recap of the circumstances. And the circumstances involved a male subject who walked away from St. Joe's emergency room naked. There were five St. Joe staff members that followed the subject out until he landed on a bus bench on Alameda. There were multiple 911 calls regarding a male naked on a bus bench. Our officers got out there and they engaged a male who was very lucid, who knew what he wanted and what he didn't want, and he wanted to be taken to jail. <clears throat> there was no crime associated with his behavior. There was a nurse that was a distance away that yelled out that he's a walk away. So I want to make sure that everybody understands this. He walked away from a medical facility that has a medical staff that can do a hold and also sedate him. There was no ask by that nurse to detain him, bring him back. So our two officers are dealing with a male who is naked, who is coherent, provocative, difficult, and they negotiated with him to put clothes on. And part of the negotiation process was, we'll give you a ride. And he goes, great, we'll give you a ride if you put on your clothes. He said, he immediately put on his clothes. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Tahunga. Tahunga's a tad too far. I want to go. So they agreed to uh, take him to the red line because there was buses and trains, and he goes, let's do it, let's do it. And he told the officers, hey, look it, handcuff me so that you feel safe with me. That was our subject that proffered that, not the officers. So they transport him to the red line area, and as they are approaching the red line, he sees a Starbucks. He says, stop, I want coffee. Stop. The officers stop. They get him out of the car. They unhandcuff him. He thanks the officers three times. And then the officers left. And as the officers left, the subject uh, went to the ground and laid on the ground. One of the things that the subject did share with our officers is that he had a leg injury from the war. He did not expand on that. So what did the officers know and did not know. Uh, they did not know that the subject was the subject of a man down call in the city of Los Angeles in Sun Valley. He was transported by the LA Fire Department to 
um, St. Joe's and our subject walked away from St. Joe's. Chief, I'm sorry to interrupt. I just want to be clear. The subject was transported by Los City of Los Angeles personnel into the city of Burbank? Correct. Correct. And that happens frequently. Sure. This is not an anomaly. Uh, LA Fire and other uh, services transport to a regional hospital, which is St. Joe's, and they uh, end up in the city of Burbank. A couple things to note, and then I'll talk about the investigation, is that the engagement with our officer's engagement with the suspect was professional. It was dignified. They provided him dignity in the moment where he was unclothed, and they were able to get him clothes. St. Joe's was not. The professionalism, <laughs> I was really impressed with our officers because of the suspect's life circumstances. Uh, again, difficult, provocative, and really was a lost soul. So uh, treated uh, with the utmost uh, dignity. The video that was uh, posted, uh, the optics don't provide a complete story. It's a Paul Harvey scenario where it's the rest of the story. The FBI <clears throat> wanted to initiate an investigation. They came to our department. They reviewed the circumstances and the videos, the body-worn cameras, and they recognized that our officers' actions were appropriate. They did not open up a case. So our investigation determined that our subject was not homeless. He has been renting a room for the last two to three years. We spoke to his landlord. Um, the subject has never been homeless to our knowledge. He is not in the HMIS system, the Homeless Management Information System. He is a provocative soul, how I would um, describe it. The allegations are really serious. Homeless dumping. I'm disappointed that there was, to my knowledge, no outreach to the mayor. There was not. To the vice mayor, to the city council, to the city manager, to the chief of police as far as what happened and give us an explanation, put us on notice. That never happened. <clears throat> as you know, I worked for LAPD for 38 years. I was born and raised in the city of Los Angeles, went to school, went to two universities there. So I still love that city, but for the past 15 years, I worked for the city of Burbank, and we work really hard to be good neighbors. And that absence of communication was disappointing. So I look at a disappointment as an opportunity. So an opportunity moving forward is that we liaison with each other better. Um, that night, I spoke to the chief of police of Los Angeles and asked him, I, I, one, I apologized because we did not know the rest of the story. And he had also not been reached out by anyone from their city council. So it, it's kind of a head shaker for me but our investigation has been completed with an asterisk. The asterisk is, is that the DA's office also wants to uh, review the investigation. We have corresponded with them. And the California Department of Justice, the Attorney General's office, also was sent a, a correspondence about the investigation. So our investigation is completed. We are waiting for the DA and the AG's office to um, um, review the investigation. Tomorrow, we're going to issue a statement that uh, kind of summarizes what I've shared with you this evening, but there'll be a hyperlink to this presentation so it's more personalized, so they hear more words instead of reading stuff. And uh, I believe that that will um, satisfy folks' interest in what happened. Was he homeless? Was it homeless dumping? And that should answer everyone's questions. And I'm going from memory here, but I believe I've covered everything. So that concludes my report out. Thank you, Chief. Uh, Mr. Hess, anything briefly to add? I, I do have one more item, but uh, uh, on this item. Uh, not on this item. 
Colleagues, any brief questions only? Questions? Chief Albanese, just one question for the sake of the record. The uh, rather severe allegation raised by Los Angeles City Council member Paul Krikorian that the gentleman in question was homeless, I want to be 100% clear about this. Your investigation revealed that that was a false assertion, that he is not, in fact, unhoused. So the un allegations are unfounded. Thank you. He is not homeless, and it was not dumping. Thank you. Don't think that could be any more clear. Any other questions? All right. Thank you very much, Chief. Thank you for watching the latest My Burbank video. If you have it in your heart, please consider helping us by clicking on the super thanks down below. Or even better, go to our channel and consider a membership. Your support is what keeps My Burbank going strong.